We are going to look at three different methods for subtraction. Here we have our sum 82 take away or minus or subtract 65. Let's look at the first method. First of all, we look at the units. And we see that we have 2 take away 5. And of course, we see straight away that we're unable to take 5 from 2. So we're going to borrow 10 from the tens column. So we're going to take a 10 from the 80, which will make 10 plus 2 gives us 12. And our 8, which is 80, is going to be reduced to 7, which is 70. Now we actually can perform the sum. 12 take away 5 is 7, and 7 take away 6 is 1. OK, let's move on to the second method. We have our same sum here. Again, first of all, we look at the units. And again, we can't take 5 from 2. So we borrow 10 from the 6, which is 60. So in this case, we're actually borrowing a 10 and adding to the 2, which gives us 12. But in this case, we actually need to give the 10 back. So our 6 becomes 7, which is 70. Then we can carry out our sum. 5 from 12 is 7, and 7 from 8 is 1, giving us 17. Let's move on to our third method, which is quite different. We still have the same sum, 82 subtract 65. But in this method, we're actually going to work our way from 65 up to 82. And starting with 65, we work out how many we need to add to get to the next 10. And we keep adding to get to the next 10 until we reach 82. So here we have 65. We're going to add 5, which will bring us to the next 10, which is 70. Then we have 70. We add 10, brings us to 80. And we're now at 80, and of course we now only have to add 2 to give ourselves 82, which is the figure. If we now add up the 5, the 10, and the 2, we get 17, which is the difference between 65 and 82. We've now seen three methods for subtraction.